But before we get started, I do need to let you know that Solomon did send this vest to me to review for the sole purpose of review and testing. They are not providing any compensation to me. They're not going to review this video and proof it. I'm going to say my honest thoughts like I always do. Let's talk about the Solomon Sense Pro 5 set vest. So I've had this vest for a while now. I've taken it on the road on long like 18, 20 mile road run. I've taken it into the mountains on a long 18-ish mile run up the Smoky Mountains to Mount LeConte, carrying ice traction, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I have just used this vest a lot and I can tell you now that I fully love it. It is amazing, super comfortable. When you're wearing this vest, uh, it honestly just, it feels like it's a part of you. It feels like you're wearing, uh, let's say a form fit shirt versus a shirt that's two sizes too big. It just fits you, it's snug. Uh, in some of the videos, it may look like it's bouncing a little bit, but it does not feel like it bounces whatsoever. It's just, uh, it's perfect. I love the fit of the vest, it is amazing. Hey, before we get to the rest of the details though, if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up, it really does help out a lot and I would just really appreciate it. So I am six foot three, about 168 pounds. I'm thin, I'm a runner. Uh, but this is a size medium and it fits me very well. I can fit the back with a lot of stuff in there and it still fits comfortably with the two flasks. So it's, yeah, the sizing wise fits really nicely. So the vest does come from Solomon with these two 500 milliliter speed flasks and these are from Hydra Pack, as you can see right there on the side. Uh, they're good flasks, they fill very easily, they have a pretty wide spout. There is one negative to these though and I actually like the flasks that come with the advanced skin vest uh, better. Uh, so the speed flask has this harder plastic piece on the bottom. It's designed to slide in your vest very quickly, which it does. It goes in very quickly, speedily, you might say, but it's uncomfortable, honestly. So with this little plastic piece, you know, it doesn't feel like much, but when you're running, you're drinking the liquid down, you know, my tailwind, uh, it starts to get smaller. And then this just pushes into the rib cage right here for me. And it, and it rubbed raw a couple of times. So uh, definitely not a big fan of the speed flask. I would much prefer the regular flasks. When I went to the Smoky Mountains, I had three flasks total, two in the front, one in the back, uh, back here in the, in the back compartment. And uh, it was just much nicer having those regular flask versus the speed flask. I think that's the only drawback I have found with this vest. And that is it for hydration, by the way. So the vest, as far as I have, t I have been able to tell, playing with it, looking at it, uh, I do not believe this vest is compatible with a hydration reservoir. So Solomon bladders usually have the right angle uh, straw coming out of the actual reservoir and then it comes out the side so there are no holes from the inner compartment to where you could route a hose and if you were to put one in the back there's no place to route a hose there's no hole in this shoulder strap to put a hose underneath yeah so it is not designed to go with a hydration reservoir it's not designed for those very very long mountain runs self-supported runs where you have a hydration reservoir so keep that in mind but like i said i did take three flasks with me in total on that run uh, you could easily fit four or five if you didn't have the other stuff I had, which I'll go over in just a minute, uh, just talking about sizing. So yeah, just keep that in mind. This is for, you know, they say a trail marathon or shorter distances on the Solomon website. With those flasks, when you put the vests on, you do have a little uh, loop right here you can put over the top of the flask, and that keeps it from sliding down inside of the pocket, which is really nice. It's not going to fall down in the bottom and you can easily reach it and just continue drinking. On the top right shoulder, there is a zippered pocket right here where you could easily put a car key. Uh, I like to put my salt pep pills in there just in case I need extra salt, but you could definitely put a car key in there if you wanna keep that secure too. Probably a safest place for it, honestly. Okay, so now we have the flasks inside the reservoir. You also have these two pockets in the front. They're kind of small accessing this way when your uh, flask is full, but from the side, you can stick your hand in there, get your gels very easily. These side pockets are pretty stretchy. I've stuck, I think, five or six gels in the pocket on the side, uh, as well as like a Lara bar or some other kind of uh, nutrition down there. Uh, you could easily put a headlamp. Um, let's see, I've stuck the GoPro on the left-hand side. It fits there nicely. That's where I like to keep it so I can get it out pretty easily. Uh, and then you also have on the front one zippered pocket right here on the left-hand side. Uh, and this one is pretty darn deep and it's also pretty stretchy. Uh, so you can actually fit a uh, iPhone 11 with an OtterBox case in there. You could fit an iPhone 12, I'm pretty certain, probably the 13 too. Uh, you could stick trash in there so it's not gonna fall out on the trail. Put your car keys, anything you wanna keep safe in a zipper pocket right there on the front. And then moving around the side, we have two side accesses, one on either side. And it's so it's kind of like you take your hands, you gotta reach back like this and you can stick a lot of stuff in that back compartment back there. That's where I took the third flask. I had it 
in the very back on kind of like the lumbar area. When I got really hot, I took my uh, Ventro jacket off and I stuck it back there as well and it stayed just fine. Uh, so it's pretty big and uh, very stretchy. So you can really fit, even though this is a, a smaller vest, you can fit quite a lot of stuff in here. For instance, uh, so when I went on the run in the Smokies, I had this uh, Path Projects long sleeve shirt, but inside of that, I had Yak Tracks Run wrapped up inside of this. And then I had that stuffed in the very back pocket, which is through the top here. I had that down through there in the back. But below all of that, I had, first of all, my little first aid kit. Very important. I think I carry this on any run in the mountains. I had my EpiPen as well. And of course, I had some wet wipes just in case, you know, nature called. So I had all of that in the back. Uh, as well as that flask. And then in the front, I had the two flasks, I had the GoPro, the, uh, the gels, uh, the salt pills, all of that. So it was loaded down, but it was still very comfortable. Everything was easily accessible. I didn't have to ever like take the vest off to get anything. I never got the ice traction out. Obviously to get that out, I would have had to take the vest off uh, because it's kind of just a little cumbersome. But other than that, it fits fantastic. No issues with getting this stuff on or in the vest. Sticking with the front, one thing I really like about the Solomon vest here is the way that these uh, it, it attaches. So you have on the front, you've got this drawstring right here, which I just have the excess tucked inside there. Uh, but you can adjust this to your liking, however much, however snug you want that vest, however loose you need it for your size, whatever. And then you just take it, clip it around this little piece, pull it and it snaps in and then it's secure on your, on your person, on your chest. Uh, and you can move these up and down as well to get that exact fit. You can take them off, slide them up, slide them lower. Once you get them on, they're not going to move. It's, it's, it's a little uh, cumbersome to get that out. But once you do and you move it, it's going to be secure and it's not going to fall on you. So with this being a uh, five series vest, so it's a smaller vest, you might be thinking, well, what if I wanted to do a mountain run or a trail run where a trail race where I might need some poles? Well, you can actually attach poles to this vest. So when you buy the vest, it comes with five extra little cords, attachment things here. And you can put these on the vest in numerous places. So in playing with it, testing, I found the most secure, best way that I like to put poles. I never took it on a run, but just in testing, what felt the most comfortable and like it wouldn't annoy me during a run was putting it on the front. So you can attach those to the two upper portions on the vest. And then you've got this little piece right here where you can put one of these cords through to keep the top part of the pole secure. And then on the bottom, you've got these other attachment points, put one in the back there that's kind of on the side. Put that there, you can slide the poles in. The poles are pretty comfortable, you know, moving the arms, it didn't rub anywhere, it wasn't sticking into my side. Uh, there is also a way you can attach it to the back. And quite frankly, that was just not comfortable. Uh, the poles were digging into the back. Uh, when arm swings, you know, my elbows were hitting the, uh, <laughs> hitting the poles. Maybe if you run like this, you know, it's not gonna be an issue, but uh, I'm more of a this kind of runner and it was a big issue for me. So I would not do that. But putting it on the front was pretty comfortable and I could easily see doing a 50K, 50 mile race with that, no issue. Ease of use with this vest is just so nice. Like, so when I went out on my road run uh, last weekend, it was, uh, it was like 18.3 miles. It was in, uh, you know, upper 40s and I started out without gloves. And uh, I ended up getting a little chilly later in the run. There was some wind coming right at me. So I was able just to take my hands, get in the back of the pot of the vest very easily while running uh, and just get my, my uh, gloves out really simply, put them on. Didn't have to stop and take it off. It's just so easy. Everything is very well thought out on this vest. The front pockets are easy to get your, your stuff out of. The side pockets are, you know, fairly easy. They're not, you know, super easy because it is back here a little ways but it's, it can be done while running. It's not difficult. Uh, it does have a fair amount of reflective material on it as well. So the, the uh, labeling, you know, for the Sense Pro, the Solomon on the front, and then on the sides, you've got some here on the lateral portions. And the back, the Solomon is also reflective. So if you wanna take this out at night, there is a little bit of, of reflective material that'll help keep you a little bit safer. And it's just nice, nice touches, nice touches. Quality wise, uh, you know, so far I have not seen anything that has made me think that this will not last for quite a while. It seems like it is built very, very well. So as far as the breathability of the vest goes, uh, it is very breathable. Uh, you can see the inner portion of the back is a very lightweight mesh material. It'll allow airflow. You know, the back does have another piece over top of that. So that'll inhibit some of that airflow, especially if you put something like a shirt inside of there or other, other items, it'll definitely inhibit that airflow a little bit. But 
overall, I have just been incredibly happy with this vest. Like it's, it's my new favorite vest by far. Uh, I will be testing the uh, other advanced skin vests soon. Come, uh, hopefully as soon as, <laughs> as soon as product allows, uh, I'll be able to test those. Uh, but as far as laundry care goes, so Solomon's website recommends hand washing and then hang drying. You know how I am with washing stuff. Uh, I did take the vest and I threw it inside of one of those uh, laundry bags that you can zip shut to keep these cords from like getting stuck in something. Uh, I washed it on a gentle cycle, uh, cold temperature of course, with the uh, SweatX uh, laundry detergents. And then afterwards when, it, when it's time to dry, I take it out of the bag, hang it up and air dry it. Never throw it in the dryer, that is for sure. And it's been fine so far. I've washed it probably four times. Uh, I don't really notice any, any issues with it yet. Uh, but as far as longevity goes, I imagine it probably would be better to hand wash it. So the men's medium vest weighs in at 130 grams. It is very lightweight uh, and just a fantastic vest. That's it. I mean, overall, bottom line, this vest is amazing. Ah, one, ah there is one more negative and it's back to the flasks. Uh, the only thing that I don't like other than the uh, little speed flask part here on the bottom uh, and this goes for the other flasks as well. So the top is, uh, there's no way to like lock it closed. You cannot do that. It's a bite valve. So as long as you don't bite it, it's not gonna come out. But if you push it, it it'll come out. <laughs> if there's a lot of pressure built in and you're running, you know how things are kind of like smashed in there and you might hit that, water's gonna squirt out. You know, your tailwind's gonna squirt out, whatever you have. So uh, I wish there was a way to like, when you're not using one flask, you could like twist it, lock it shut so nothing's coming out. That would just be a nice little uh, a little touch. So the Solomon Sense Pro 5 vest right now, it retails for $160. Uh, it's a lot of money for a vest, but honestly, that's about what vests go for right now. And it's worth it, 100%. This thing is amazing, super comfortable. I just can't get over the comfort of the vest. It's just, it feels like you're not wearing a vest. It's that amazing. So I definitely recommend it. If you are going to be doing a trail marathon, a race where you only need to carry, you know, maybe two flasks and a safety blanket, whatever the race may require, something like that. This is going to be perfect, lightweight, comfortable, no chafing. It's not going to rub your neck raw. Uh, you know, I've seen plenty of people wear this without shirts. I probably wouldn't do that, but you know, a lot of people do. So you might be okay, but it's just amazingly comfortable. It really is. So I cannot recommend this vest enough. Try it out. Let me know what you think of it. If you've tried the Sense Pro versus the, let's say the Advanced Skin Series vests, uh, you know, I'd be curious to know the differences that you found as far as comfort goes. So let me know below in the comments too. Drop, that, drop those comments there, let us all know. We'd be curious to see if the Sense Pro uh, is a little, you know, worth it more than the Advanced Skin. Well, that is gonna do it for the Solomon Sense Pro 5 vest. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help out tremendously. Uh, lets YouTube know that you like the video and then they might recommend it to other people and that just helps the channel a lot. And if you want to take a look at another hydration vest that I reviewed, it's going to be over on this side of your screen. You can take a look at that. And then over here, you know what, we'll put up the, uh, the Mount Leconte Smokies one I did where I had this vest loaded down with all this gear and it was just perfect. It was great. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. I'll see you on the next one.